All right. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the new Ruckus ECX 4x4 with the uh, ABC, and it's got the brushless system in it. I've had it for a few weeks now, and uh, I'm gonna go over the bad things first. First thing, within the first 10 minutes of runtime, I broke the left front drive shaft. Uh, other than that, it's been uh, extremely dependable. Um, you can bang it around a whole lot. Um, the motor, I find, is a little weak. It comes with a 3300 kV motor. And today I just installed a 4000 kV in it. I'm gonna see if that'll give me the, the run I need. Give me the speed that I need, but uh, as you can see, the truck is nice, big size, compared to a Caldera, Red Cat Caldera. You can see the wheelbase is a little longer, makes it extremely stable. I find the ABC is incredible. I've got a four-year-old grandson that drives this truck, and he looks like a pro when he's running it. Uh, stays on track. Uh, doesn't flip very often because it does stay in control. This is the new motor here. This is the 4000 I put in there today. And of course that's the ABC active vehicle control system which is amazing. I'll probably install this on every truck I have. Uh, this is a good beginner truck. Uh, what I don't like about it. Number one, the rear suspension. Uh, it is poorly in alignment. As you can see, this left rear tire leans really bad. The right one does also. Not such a bad thing, but there is no adjustment. Absolutely no, no way to adjust this thing. So you're stuck with poor alignment. Same thing on the front. Dog bones. There's no control. You can't control uh, toe in, toe out. I was told that I can buy some Traxxas arms for it and uh, I can uh, make some adjustments with it. However, can't, same thing can't be said about the rear. There is nothing you can do about it. You're stuck. Um, again, what I really do like about this thing is the ABC, active vehicle control, and uh, Weakness is the motor. Uh, body. Got a very nice body on it. Very strong. Very rigid body. Uh, we haven't damaged it at all. We, we flipped it a few times. We jumped it over quite a bit of things. And it has some ugly landings. And it stands up. It's got great tires on it. I've actually swapped them out and put the Proline trenchers on it just for the heck of it. And find these tires uh, perform extremely well with the uh, system, with the truck. Uh, I can see later on I'll be upgrading these steering knuckles right here. Uh, it's all plastic, but again, I bashed the living mess out of this thing. And we haven't broken but one drive shaft. Um, we had a little problem programming the ESC uh, where we actually lost reverse in it. I had to get technical assistance online, and they're very helpful. Uh, they'll spend as much time as humanly possible with you on the phone to help make sure you get it running properly. And that's what we did today. We uh, got my reverse back. It was just a programming issue. Uh, but Horizon Hybrids, um, they will help you out as much as humanly possible. Um, I'm gonna run this thing today with this new motor. I'm waiting for the battery to charge. And once it gets charged, I'll uh, post an update on how it performs.